Hi. So today I wanted to talk about the synthesize keyword in Objective-C and what does it mean. So essentially, if you're going through uh, a lot of existing uh, Objective-C code, maybe in a library or something like that, you may run across the synthesize keyword. And it's kind of interesting because if you are going to create, let's say, a property, for example, uh, inside of Objective-C class, it used to be that synthesize was what you would use to essentially initialize uh, the, the property inside of your implementation. But it's not required, hasn't required for, for many, many years now. Uh, and the truth is you really don't need it. But you're probably going to run across it in some of the older existing Objective-C code out there. But there might be a reason why you might want to use it. And that reason might have has to do with the fact that by default, if you go to create a, let's say a property and you call it name, it's going to get a name of, or it's going to get an IVAR of underscore name uh, to back that property. And that's how they're doing the encapsulation inside of the Objective-C class. Uh, but you may want to use a different implementation. You might want to use, uh, a, you may have a different naming scheme that you use for your uh, IVARs inside of your Objective-C class. So let's take a quick look and see what we can use synthesize and how we can use synthesize in our Objective-C code. All right, so here's a uh, class I have called aircraft. And I can see I have, uh, uh, let's say, just some getters and setters that I've set for forgetting its speed, but I want to use a property instead. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is come up here into this, and I'm going to create a property. And let's make this a, we'll make it an int. Not atomic. And we'll call this speed. Now it's pretty common uh, with aircraft to refer to the speed it's traveling at as airspeed. So I'm going to use an instance variable here. I'm going to call this airspeed instead. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this interface. And I'm going to come in here to the implementation. And in the implementation, I'm going to use synthesize. And the property I'm going to synthesize is going to be my uh, speed. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to say speed. And now I'm going to say equal to underscore airspeed. And I'm going to get rid of these two methods. I don't need those anymore. So now if I come here into this method here, let's go ahead and I'm going to set this to aircraft. And instead of making it an ID, I'm going to create this uh, plane variable pointer. And right now you can see that the speed, it recognizes that set speed. And a better way of doing this is I have a property. So I can just come up here, plane, and I can say speed is equal to, let me make it a little faster, 230 miles an hour. Don't need that. Now if I want to log that out, uh, what I can do now is I can just come over here and I can say plane, that speed, get rid of that square bracket, and that's still an integer. I'll run that and see what happens. And here we can see the plane's traveling at 230 miles per hour or knots. So that is how you can use uh, synthesize to essentially point to a different instance variable. If you like this video, uh, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, I think it's up there. And uh, I will be talking to you later.